write a radio for me because I've passed my entrance examination to Annapolis and I'm going Navy. Did you call that, sir? Yes, yes, Tom, you pour me a glass for that oldest port. Fair or starry weather, we won't give up, we won't give up the share. Friends and pals forever, it's a long, long trip. If you have to take a licking, carry on and quit your kicking, don't give up the share. Smoking, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Thank you. Entering here? Well, what does it look like? From what I hear, tell of the academy, my friend, you're going to live to regret that entrance. Did you pay those guys to do that? You boys know where you're going? No, no sir. No, sir. All right, follow me. I'll show you. appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy. I, having been appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Hands down, gentlemen. You're now midshipman in the United States Navy. Congratulations. Wasn't a radio issued to any of you guys? I didn't see any radio on my list. I don't think Cleve Drake radio. I was raised on a radio. God, I have a radio. How's about a radio for 3305? We don't salute when we're uncovered, mister. Squeeze hard. 200. Ball. 225. 180. Okay, right side. Pull. Pull hard. Sixty. Thank you. Spray hats. Squad at ten. Ten. Right. Face. Left. Face. Mr. Lincoln, hold your hat in your right hand. You sure that's your right hand? Uh, yes, sir. Remember it. Okay, Bill. All right, sir.
Excuse me, please. Hello, mister. Have you a twin brother in New York who sings and doesn't believe in the Navy? No, I haven't a twin brother. I'm the same duck you talked to in New York, only I suddenly went soft in the head. Well, what happened, Dick? I don't know. Bands playing, stars and stripes. People screaming and hollering. Dad going over the side, blood will tell. I don't know. I just went off my nut and here I am. Furthermore, I wish I had a twin brother so he could trade places with me right now. I have to be at Bancroft in time for formation. Dick, forget what I said about Navy in New York. I'd like you to come see me. I'd like to see you, too. Only, unfortunately, they have a book of regulations around here, and plebes aren't allowed out of these walls except on Labor Day and what is laughingly called Independence Day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sweet dream. Drop your chest. Drop your shoulders. What's that? Look, that's me, sir. Well, pull it in. Pull your hand back. Square that cap, Mr. Melville. A little more. Mr. Lawrence, did you brush off this morning? Yes, sir. With a blanket or with a bath towel? With a, bl uh, with a clothes brush, sir. You sure you have a clothes brush? Yes, sir. Do you use it? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Don't come down here to formation again looking like this. No, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 